And now, The Guns of Borderlands 2, brought to you by The Gun Show. Basic repeater and nasty ass beater, fine iron and duck scatter gun. The fungus side launcher, the skewering blaster, and the bayoneted magnum. Bilateral face time and surgical terror, qual la qual la buffalo hurts. Cracked a couple crowd sourcing the gentleman Snyder from this tinderbox and walk a derp. And this one shoots acid, and this one shoots grape juice, and I don't know, this one's from space. Uh, this one shoots bullets, uh, rockets, and what? Ah, oh, I just can't keep up this pace! Oh. Oh. Ye gads, have you seen how many guns this game has? You'd have to be a maniac to attempt to catalog them all. Yeah, like that guy. Well, we here at The Gun Show have a lingering fondness for what remains of our sanity, so in this episode, we're gonna break it down by manufacturer. Each company has its own particular attributes and tendencies, and knowing what you're getting into will ultimately help you get out of whatever you've gotten yourself into. Oh, get away from me! Oh god, god thank you. Yeah, I'm stuck in a quarter! God damn it, not again! So sell that vendor trash and make some room in your backpack for the latest episode of The Gun Show. We'll start with the new kids on the block, the only plucky startup in a world of corporate gunmongering, Bandit. Apparently fed up with prostrating themselves to the graven idol of Marcus Gunbringer, those plucky psychopaths went into business for themselves and the results are bursting with bullets. Bandit weapons boast oversized clips so you can shoot for metaphorical days. Just don't try to explain what a metaphor is to a bandit. Judging by the names of their guns, bandit homeschooling efforts got derailed on phonics and never looked back. I mean, just look at this train wreck. Heh, <laughs> ass. <laughs> Actually, this particular train wreck is an interesting one, because it's got a little Iridian kick to it. In Borderlands 2, Iridian is no longer a brand of weapon, but it lives on as E-Tech, a modifier of sorts that can spice up guns from other manufacturers. E-Tech guns are hard to come by, and you may not find many on your first playthrough, but they're there. Waiting. Ready to jump out of a loot chest! Oh god, Midget! Midget, get it off! Get it off! Who's We should eat sand one more time! If you too get a little jumpy when these little jerks take the field, perhaps a Jacobs is the gun for you. Renowned in the first game for delivering high damage, the most notable thing about a Jacobs weapon in Borderlands 2 is that it will fire just as fast as you can pull the trigger. This makes them great for plugging away frantically at whatever feral freak is up in your face, but the lengthy reload time will make you thankful you've got another gun to pull out. Unless you don't, in which case, cue the Muzak and hope none of those baddies sends you spiraling back down the tube of tiny floating squares of death. And also, life. Brought to you by Hyperion. Speaking of everyone's least favorite planetary exploitation outfit, Hyperion guns have a few distinguishing characteristics. First off, you've got the unremittingly douchey business jargony names that sound like they were plucked right off of Handsome Jack's corporate roadmap. Okay, inspiring projectile convergence is pretty good, and it actually hints at the fact that Hyperion guns become more accurate the longer you hold the trigger. This isn't so handy for shotguns or sniper rifles, obviously, but assault rifles and SMGs will definitely benefit from this- HOLY HAND GRENADE! WHAT IS THAT MADDENING CACOPHONY?! It's as if millions of voices suddenly cried out in terror, and no one bothered to silence them! It's like when Carl's feet turned into eyeballs in that one episode of Aqua Teen Hunger Force, only there are a hundred Carls. It's like Gilbert Gottfried's family reunion and they're all learning duck calls! Nothing so exotic, I'm afraid. That is the Bane, one of a few unique talking weapons you can have the, um, pleasure of earning as a quest reward. And now we need to move on, before I find a small object to jam deep into my ear canal. <sighs> With that horror behind us, let's talk Tdor. Some of these other companies might rely on slight stat bonuses or distinct visual patterns to stand out, but there's no mistaking a Tdor. The moment you reload, boom! You have littered, and are subject to a stiff fine from the local authorities. Then a moment later, BOOM! The local authorities' corpses are littering the battlefield. TDR guns explode with a power proportionate to how much ammo you have left in the clip when you toss them, and the explosions consume that ammo. Therefore, hanging onto a TDR gun in a weapon class you don't use much can be a useful tactic. Just take one shot, reload, one shot, reload, and so on. It's better than just letting that unused ammo gather dust, and it's a good way to get yourself a nice little second win. Here, I'm bringing this little midget. Up you go, sport! Now get back out there and crush another midget's dreams. Moving right along, we come to the Doll Corporation, whose motto must almost certainly be, 
Providing the Pandoran people with conveniently located waste receptacles and then not giving two shits about them ever again. All of that not picking up the garbage they do must leave them with plenty of time to make guns because doll firearms get around even more than Moxie's uh, pizza. M more than Moxie's pizzas. <laughs> Talk about a tasty slice of pizza. Innuendo. Hot round pizza pies. I'm sorry, where was I? Oh, doll, right. Check it. These guns fire in the expected way, but they switch to burst fire when you aim down the sights. Burst shots work well for SMGs and pistols, giving you a nice tight cluster of projectiles that can be cycled fairly quickly, but doll may not be the best choice for a discerning sniper. You can certainly be deadly with a doll sniper rifle, but the burst fire makes it better suited for mid-range engagements, rather than precise, long-range shots. If three-round bursts aren't enough for you, then Vladoff might be more your style. High rate of fire is this company's calling card, which should make all you wacky gunzerkers out there very happy. Spew more bullets faster, that's like the whole gunzerker ethos, right? Hey man, more power to ya. Just don't let that one Hyperion gun get wind of what you're up to. It's got kind of a thing about... Promethea? Where is... what are those kids... Come on, gun, just let me shoot in peace, would ya? Look, I'm doing the best I can here. Hey, these total rats are trying to kill me! <laughs> that's it! Time for a new gun! Huh, well that's a good start. Yeah, that's a spirit! Why, thank you, Shotgun 1340. Good question. Okay, maybe a bit too enthusiastic. Sometimes gun makers can get a bit carried away with their designs. Take Torg, for example. I mean, look at this model, just so garish and tragic. It screams for attention, but honey, hello, this ain't the Hodunk racetrack, okay? So why don't you just, what? Oh, guns, right. <laughs> Well, Torg guns aren't just Pandora's worst dressed, they also shoot Pandora's slowest bullets. But when those bullets hit their mark, or even somewhere near their mark, kaboom! Explosion! Explosion, 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 explosion! They explode. Exploding bullets. You get the idea. Last, but certainly not least, we come to Maliwan, makers of fine elemental firearms that burn, shock, corrode, or slag the ever-loving bejesus out of your enemies. Pairing the proper element with the proper enemy is something even the lowliest of vault hunters should do, so here's a handy mnemonic to help you remember. Sacabthus. Slag everything, corrode armor, burn flesh, shock shields. Sacabthus. Sacabthus. Maliwan's success is as easy as Sacabthus. Or, you know, just paying attention to when the word RESIST appears on screen in capital letters. Either way, you're sure to have a marvelous time with a Maliwan in your hands, and the hills themselves will ring with joy. Or, you know, echo with the agonizing wails of your dying enemies. Either way. And with that, our fun and educational survey of Pandoran weapon manufacturers comes to a close. We hope you've learned a thing or two that will help you never be taken alive by robotic some bitches. You never take me alive, you robotic some bitch! So have you found a favorite gun yet? Discovered any E-Tech amidst the skag piles? Go on ahead and share Borderlands 2 gun story in the comments. And hey, thanks for watching The Gun Show. Oh, and feel free to get some crumpets on the way. Crumpets are crumpets!